<laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Wonderland Asylum. So back today, stage 109 of the Hachette Parkwork release of Titanic, the ship, the legend. Okay, so what's in the magazine? The next part of the onboard dress code. Hmm. Again, I, I, it makes sense that there is one, I just wasn't aware. I do know that modern cruise ships, uh, they have a dress code. Um, there we go, there's a picture of the kind of period dress from the 1997 movie. And the cover of a French fashion magazine. Very good. Doesn't bode well that I'm struggling to turn pages in the magazine, does it? <laughs> Yeah, there we go. There's another illustration of the, the kind of fashion of the time. It was when they were starting to have the, the flamboyant outfits were getting trimmed down slightly because of the, particularly the invention of the motor car, when those in high society were beginning to own motor vehicles and were having to get in and out of them. So, yeah, another article on Madame Curie there. I didn't know she was a madam. <laughs> Sorry, a uh, quote from Big Bang Theory there. And uh, there is her diploma from uh, the Nobel Prize in Physics. And there she is in her laboratory in Paris. And then we're on to the parts. So, not much to do today, but without further ado, let's have a look and see what's in the box. Okay, so in today's box, we have a little packet, which I do believe contains, yeah, the, the, the little panels that cover the holes. I believe these ones are for the bow and maybe the ones for the stern next time. But the bow is metal and these little panels are plastic. So I don't know how good these are going to look, but we'll see. And then here we have the starboard side of the rear of the ship and you can see there the mounting points for the anchor. Fantastic and that's all that's in there. No screws today because well we ain't actually doing very much. We're not touching this piece at all. All we're doing is putting these into the bow of the ship. Speaking of which we're going to need the bow of the ship over so if you bear with me just a moment I'll go and get it. Okay, so I've had to slightly re-angle the camera, bring it down and aim it up so you can see what I'm doing because the bits that we're fitting are going into these holes here. Now they are numbered. So, let's see, this is labelled number one. And one, you can't really see if one peg is bigger than the other or not, but it's going into this point just here. I can't push the ship along any further, that's as far as it goes. But yeah, that one goes in there. That doesn't look too bad actually. Then number two, you can see the indent there. Again, you'll not go far wrong if you put the numbers in the right way. It fits nice and snug. Number three this one here and it goes in there and then number four that I've just dropped it goes in right at the bottom looking just like that now I'll move it slightly so you can see but that's what that's looking like and believe it or not that is it for issue 109. So, unbelievably, that's us for issue 109. What's coming in issue 110? You'll not be surprised to know. It's the other side of the hull, the bottom part, and the four plugs that go in that side once you've screwed it all together. So, a little bit more to do, but not much. <laughs> so... There isn't a lot to do in this pack, it doesn't take a great deal of time, but the impact when it's done is phenomenal. I mean, 
just fitting those four points, if I can lift this so you can see it. You can see them there, but they're not readily obvious. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite chuffed with that. It looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, thanks as always for watching, guys. Any feedback, comments, criticisms, complaints, do drop them below. Do leave a like and do subscribe to the channel to see the rest of Titanic, the rest of the U96 U-Boat, and hopefully, if they ever send it to me, the rest of the 1966 Batmobile. But yeah, thanks as always for watching, guys, and you know the drill by now. <laughs> Peace out, everyone.